Hey brothers and sisters, welcome back to the John 1 1 channel. And today I'm going to show you video footage of a Jew bringing 22 non Muslims onto the Temple Mount. You won't believe it. You got to stay and watch that. And the reason I want to show you that video is because last week on January 3rd, that was last Tuesday before last, a Jewish guy in Jerusalem went up on the Temple Mount and it caused such a ruckus that the UN Security Council is slated to meet on the widely decried Temple Mount visit by Ben Giver. Well, Ben Giver, his name is Itamar Ben Giver. And he's the National Security Minister in the new Benjamin Netanyahu government. He is also the party leader for the an orthodox far-right party, the Atzma Yehudit Party. That's O-T-Z-M-A Yehudit Party. Well, when he went up there, it caused an uproar for some reason. Uh, maybe because... He's orthodox, maybe because he's in the Israeli government. Or maybe it was because he didn't have the right spirit of God with him or the right number of people. Because in this picture, I counted 18 people. The article doesn't say anything about the other people. It all focuses on him. But I see a rabbi. I see... Uh, undercover, plain clothes Israeli police. I counted five or six kids here from looks like about teenage teenager. Uh, looks like there's a woman here, uh, and so I guess he didn't even have enough people with him so that there wasn't a ruckus. Because uh, the video I'm going to show you of the Jew bringing in 22 non-Muslim uh, Gentile American people. There was no ruckus. It wasn't on the news. Um, there was no uh, online media reports. Uh, no world leaders like uh, Joe Biden or Egypt's prime minister or the president of Egypt, I'm not sure what his title is, but the head guy in Egypt, Sisi, he got all bent out of shape about it. So let's just cut away right now, and I'll show you what it looks like when a Jew brings 22 non-Muslims onto the Temple Mount. And in this video, you got to look quickly, but on the right, there's going to be three Jordanian WAF. And what those guys are, they're the Jordanian police. They're the guys that are in charge on the Temple Mount. To do exactly that. Come. Let's go. Let's go to the mountain. Yeah. Now, I want to remind you, the Muslim WAF is the one who has the authority. They say no Bibles, no prayers are allowed up here. But the, the one with the guns are the Israelis. <laughs> That's good. Brothers and sisters, we can pause here for a minute and we will see the Welling Wall. That is where we're about to go to when we're done visiting here. It's going to be a short visit up here and then we're going to go down. People are praying towards the wall, putting all kinds of notes in the wall. Come, let's go. Really? Yes, sir. Where are the non binary people praying? I do not know. <laughs> So brothers and sisters, before we go, we want to say thank you to the best police in the world, the Israeli police. that we did that. let's go. We say to our friends from the walk, we just want to make sure that we're dressed okay and that everything's Hello. okay. So Good morning. Good morning. As they check us out to see if our dress is good. Ma'am. Hello. Ma'am. Take a long 
Morning. Okay. I think Morning. the rest of us seems to be okay. Yeah. 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 My God. They had green, I would say. Too much leg, man. Much leg. Okay. So brothers and sisters, we are moving on. The platform that we see here today, this got, is all the hands of Herod the Great. She got Murder. pulled over by the Muzzy police dress code enforcement. As we would have come up. I'm glad I get to west, see that. Southern west side. Thank you. There used to be a thorn bush there. And there was a ram got his head cut in the thing. Don't play for me, I'll take a look at it. We'll go closer. See the guy go see. So, one of the other things in this article that they talk about is that this individual, this cabinet minister of Benjamin Netanyahu, the Prime Minister of Israel, is that Ben Giver has long been an advocate to formally altering the Temple Mount status quo. Well, what's the status quo? Well, there's two. If you're a Muslim, you are allowed to pray and enter with few restrictions. Why is that a big deal? Well, there's 10 gates to get into the Temple Mount area, and a Muslim could go in any of the gates. Um, well, we're waiting to go in the one gate that Jews and non-Muslims can go in. I did notice a Muslim woman go in there. So uh, she must have gone through the Israeli security that you have to go through when you go up that big wooden ramp to go face of anybody coming up here and again that is the jewish law that says because we're all unclean to go into that uh, gate to the temple mount uh, it's like airport security you got to put all your stuff in a tray you got to put all your guns and knives your pepper sprays you got to put all the illegal stuff your cell phone your laptop your you know, you got to put everything in your belt, all, all that stuff uh, that, you know, that people want to take up there. And it goes through the x-ray and then they pick out the illegal stuff and they keep that behind. You can get that when you come back out. And also you can't take Bibles up there. Um, that's one of the rules. Or that means you can't take the King James Version and you can't take a Tanakh up there either. This is a Jewish Tanakh, Old Testament only, great witnessing tool for your Jewish friends that I know everyone has. So the funny thing is those nine gates that the Muslims can go into the Temple Mount, the only security there is the three to five Israeli security that's there in uniform with their machine guns locked and loaded. And so if you're a Muslim, uh, a man or a woman and you'd like to go up on the Temple Mount, you can enter any of those nine gates and when you approach Israeli security, they will ask you, are you a Muslim? Well, they ask men because men in the Muslim world, men can wear whatever they darn well please. But the Muslim women, at least the ones we saw on the Temple Mount and around Jerusalem, uh, most of them are Arabs and they have what you might consider a typical outfit that a Muslim woman would wear with a, uh, I would say it's a scarf on the head. I think the burqa is actually also kind of like a mask. And I don't recall seeing anyone like that, but with the big scarf on the head and the full down to their tiptoes, covered dresses, big, you know, you don't know if it's they just say, yeah, I'm a Muslim, and Israeli security lets them in. There's no airport security. There's nothing. So once you're on the Temple Mount, there's the Jordanian Waf, and uh, there was three sitting in their comfy chairs while we were, when we entered onto the Temple Mount. And right after we go in, if you, if you look uh, on that video, you'll notice there was a German woman. I know she was German because I could hear her speaking when we were walking up the ramp. And she thinks she's dressed modestly and conservatively. She has a white dress that goes down to her mid-calf, but she didn't have knee socks on or some kind of colored stocking. She had her bare white skin showing. Me gets 
Well, you've never seen those three uh, Jordanian walk police move so fast. Lady, lady, you know, they're, they're calling out to her in English. They think, I guess they think most people up there speak English. And, and the funny thing was that German woman answered her, answered them in English. And <laughs> so they probably had her put on some additional clothing so she could go out there. She wasn't arrested or anything or thrown in, you know, jail or anything like that. But uh, our group was warned, you know, what you should wear. And if you notice in our video, uh, the women are in our group. Every one of them got on there no problem. Uh, they're all dressed appropriately or accept acceptably. Uh, they met the dress code. And of course, we're guys, so, you know, we, we dressed okay. Although the guys were supposed to wear long pants too. And we did. You know, we're not trying to cause trouble or anything. Uh, and we had our own security with us. As I mentioned, we had 18 Texans with us. And, I mean, who'd be dumb enough to mess with us? You know, I mean, uh, they're so bad, they don't even need knives or guns or anything. These Texans, even the little kids, I mean, no one's going to mess with them. And, and nobody did because they know about the uh, reputation that Texans have. So anyway, we just want to give all the praise and honor and glory to our Lord Jesus Christ and give him thanks for our salvation in his name. His blood cleanses us from all sin, and we have life eternal with him, and we rejoice in knowing him, and we thank him for keeping an eye on us in Israel, keeping us safe, keeping the Israeli security, keeping their machine guns operational, full of bullets, and always looking out for us. So you can always feel safe when you're in Israel, because... They have the best security in the world, so said our tour guide. God bless you. Well, I'm sure glad that when we were up on the Temple Mount and I was in that group of 22 people um, that we didn't get in trouble or anything. They might have, if there was this kind of an uproar for us, they might have taken our bus driver away they might have had to stay in a hostel and instead of the nice hotel with the delicious buffets, who knows what kind of penalties they would have given us. Um, but I, I think maybe one other reason why it was such a peaceful time for us there on the Temple Mount is in our group of 22, 18 of those people were from Texas. And as an American, you know, you don't mess with Texas, or that includes don't mess with Texans. And uh, so that could have been it. I don't know. Uh, most likely it was because the Lord God of Israel was watching over us, keeping us safe. And to him goes all the praise and honor and glory. Uh, funny thing in this article, um, they're making a big deal about him being up there, like he might have been praying. Well, these days it's not uncommon for the thought police. Uh, if you're up there, who knows what he could have been thinking while he was up there. So anyway, in this article, it's, it's upset that uh, Ben Giver violated what the Rabbinic Institute forbids Jews to go up on the temple and pray, but this article doesn't ever say that he was actually uh, observed praying or in a praying position or doing the the bend over thing and that that the Orthodox do. And he is an Orthodox observant Jew. Um, so we really don't know what the big uproar was about that, uh, but we do know it's a worldly thing. Uh, you got non-believers against non-believers, whether they're Muslims or Orthodox Jews. Uh, they don't recognize the Messiah of Israel. They uh, refuse to give him glory and to recognize him. In fact, they uh, use his name in bad language and blasphemous ways. But uh, I just wanted to show you a video of what really happens uh, when a Jew brings a bunch of non-Muslim Gentile people onto the Temple Mount. And the funny thing is, um, there were other tour groups up there when we were up there. There's tour groups 
up there every day. And uh, there may be some tour groups that bring their own personal uh, tour guide from Portugal or Brazil or Timbuktu or wherever they're rolling in from. But uh, the vast majority of these tour groups are led by Jewish Israeli tour guides all over Israel. And if I can, I'd like to put a plug in for ours. His name is Yanni Simmons. He's fluent in Hebrew. He's fluent in English. And he's a heck of a guy. And not only that, on top of it all, he's a Messianic believer in Yeshua HaMashiach, the Messiah of Israel. And so shout out to our friend and best tour guide in Israel, Yanni. And we also had the best tour bus driver, Adele, who happened to be a Palestinian from the West Bank. But boy, I'll tell you, when he was driving that bus through Nazareth, ha, huh, he didn't even scrape the mirrors. That was, those were the narrowest streets I've ever seen in my life. But that's another story. So, hey, thanks for tuning in to the John 1-1 One One channel today and seeing, don't believe everything you see in the news because there are Jews that take non-Muslims, Christian, Messianic believers onto the Temple Mount. You can see the sites. There's seven or eight things to see up there besides the Dome of the Rock and the Al-Aqsa Mosque. And next time you're in Jerusalem, be sure and swing by the Temple Mount and see what is going on up there. Thank you.